Hi everybody, this is Barbara from Kago Genealogy Online.com. And I was just over in the forum at I Am with Jamie and Glenna had sent me an email asking me for some tips on how to change the banner in her website. Um, I went over and looked at her website and she had seen a little short video I had done about creating a banner using WordPress and she would ask me, you know, if I knew how to use Composer and could I do, you know, uh, manipulate a WordPress installation or manipulate the page in Composer to change this picture. Well, looking at her site, it, it looks to me like she's using a WordPress site. Glenna, if you're not using a WordPress site, I'll talk to you again, but hopefully that's what it is. For those of you who are using a WordPress theme, here's a quick and easy way I found that I can change the banner in a lot of themes. Now, not every theme will allow you to do this, but if there is a header image included with your theme, you should be able to do this. I'm talking about what I, what you see here with the kegelonline.com, climb your tree to uncover your roots. This is a banner that I made in, WordPress, in uh, Microsoft Word and posted it onto an existing theme. Let me go ahead and show you how to do that real quick and then I'm going to talk to you about how we're going to uh, replace a banner on a new site that I'm working on. Marketing in article marketing. As you can see it's a bare bones. I haven't even done anything. I'm not advertising it yet or anything. And this is not an advertisement because I'm not going to be ready with this site probably for a month or two because I'm working on the genealogy site. But let me show you real quick how to do that. Let me go ahead and open Microsoft Word. And I apologize my computer is running a little slow because I have so much stuff going on. But I'm just going to do a real, real quick down and dirty um, banner to replace this um, beautiful banner in the standard WordPress theme. Now one thing I've done is I clicked on this, right click on it and open image in a new window. I've already done that and this tells me that this banner is 190, uh, 940 by 198. The other thing you can do is you can go into uh, your website installation under themes and you can look at that as well. But this is the easy way to do it if your program will allow you to do it. On uh, Glenna's site it wouldn't allow me to do that so I had to explain to her how to go in through FTP and look at the details of that header. But uh, sometimes you can just click on it. Again it's right. You can go into your theme, right click on it and uh, open image in a new window and it opens again in a new window or a new tab and then you can see um, what the dimensions are of it. And again this is 940 by 198. So what I want to do is I want to create excuse me, I want to create a word uh, header in my Microsoft Word. You can use any kind of header but this works really well for a real quick um, real quick um, um, header if you're in a hurry. So I'm going to change this to landscape so I can get it a little bit wider and I want a square that is again 940 by 180. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert and I'm going to do shapes and I'm going to do rounded corners and I'm going to take it in here and I'm going to put it looks like probably a that's probably close. Uh, I'm going to make sure I put text wrapping um, in front of text. I always do this because that way I can layer everything. Um, this here shows that it's 2.35 high and I want it to be 198 pixels. So that's 1.98, 40. I'm going to show you another way to ensure this is correct as well. Um, get it in there right. Um, 0 0.40. Okay, so that should give me about the right size. All right, what I want to do real quick, I want to color this. Uh, let's see, article marketing. I like to go with something a little bit. Oh, a little bit different. How about a bright orange? What the heck? Um, I'm going to go ahead in here. And of course, I'm not trying to teach you how to do this. I have another real quick video for that. I just want to show you real quick how easy this can be. Uh, oh, help me out here, folks. You can't hear me. Okay, article marketing. Article. A-R-T-I-C-L-E marketing. All right, there it is. Mar marketing. Marketing art of marketing. You see it's in the back. I want to make sure text wrap in front of text. If y'all missed that other video, um, you can go look at it. I can insert pictures and I think I have, uh, come on, come on. We're waiting. I'll pause. If I have to. Here we go. Um, let me just go in here. I had some pictures I downloaded earlier and um, find a quick picture that I can put in there for article marketing. Let's see, I had something with writing on it. There we go. That looks good enough. I'll bring it to the front and bring this over. And now I have just a cute little banner I can stick in there. Now I have saved this and in Microsoft Word you cannot save it as a JPEG so or, or an image that you can use. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go up here and grab my screen saver program. I'm going to snag this with my screen uh, screen capture program. I'm going to save it. And this is a two-step process for me. 
Um, I'm going to save it on my desktop, uh, desktop so I can find it in a few minutes. Okay, save it on my desktop. There's a header. Okay, and I'm now done with this, and I don't need to save it because I'm not going to do this again. Okay, I'm going to go back into my marketing article marketing. I now have this header saved. Um, the other thing I want to do is I want to open a program called Info, Info View. Here it is, I-N-F-A-N-V-I-E-W. It's a real quick, easy, down and dirty free program. You can search for it online and find it, or send me an email if you can't find it, and I'll get it for you. I want to open this image that I just created and make sure that it's in the format that I need. And I'm pretty sure this is a PNG format, or I'm sorry, a JPG format, but I'll find out. Uh, where did it go? Okay, let's try again. It's on my desktop. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I go for all files. I do that all the time because it's preset at JPEG and then I can't find the file I'm looking for. Um, the pro little screen catch program I saved, I use, saves most images at a PNG. Uh, header, 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 header. There it is. Now open it. Okay. Now I can go in here and make sure that it's the size I want. I can uh, save as JPEG just in case I need to. Um, but before I do that, I want to make sure that I resize or resample the image and I want it to be a new size and I want it to be 940 and you see I miscalculated 940 and I want this uh, to be 198 and I tell it okay okay now I can save this which saves the original image is a PNG format Portable Network Graphics. I'm going to save it as header 001. I'm going to change that name again later. Later. Now I also want to save this as a JPEG image, just in case I get in there and find out. Oh no, I'm supposed to have a JPEG. I don't have to start go out and redo it because I learned that hard way. And header 001 JPEG. Okay, we're done with that. So what I want to do now is open my FTP program, which is FileZilla. Uh, I use FileZilla because it's quick and easy and free. If you don't know who's, how to use FileZilla, you can go ahead in there and um, download it. And there's lots of tutorials to help you do it. But let me navigate to this uh, website. And as I said, this is a new website. I just started. I haven't done anything with it yet. Uh, so you can see it's a fresh it's a fresh install. I do have a few things on there that I'm working on, but what I want to do, and I hope you can see this, I'm going to zoom in on this uh, in the replay, but I want to go to my website, which in this case is marketingarticlemarketing.us. I want to find my WordPress install, which are the WP folders. I want to go to WP content. I'm going to double click on it. Next thing I want to do is look for my themes. The theme is what manages the look of your site. So I want to click on themes. The only theme installed is the 2010. This is what comes with your WordPress installation. You may have installed another theme. Uh, for example, uh, on my uh, uh, genealogy website. Let me just show you that real quick. Um, I have too many websites, people. Okay, genealogy website. If I go into my WordPress content, themes, you'll see I have a bunch of themes. So I don't want to do that right now, I want to go into the new one. So I'm going to go here, WP content, themes, 2010. Now I want to go into images. Aha, uh -huh. here are the headers here. I'm not sure what the WordPress PNG is. Let's check headers. Okay, and we do ha should have, it looks like it's got a rotating header. Okay. So let me, what I'm going to do here is just so I can make sure I don't mess up something, I'm going to go on my desktop and I'm going to download this folder. Okay. I'm going to download my 2010 images folder. Okay. My whole theme folder for 2010. I'm going to download this so I can look at it. Uh, you can try to do this on your server, but there's a chance you can mess something up. It only takes a minute to download this. I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and come back and show you what I'm talking about as soon as this finishes downloading. So let me pause this for a moment. Okay, I've downloaded the theme and let me show you. I've just opened it up on my desktop. Uh, 2010 images, headers, open up headers. Path is the name of the header that it comes as default. We have path and path thumbnail. We're going to exchange this header, path header, for the new one we created. So what I want to do is go into my desktop again. 
I want to find the original file that I uh, created. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this for icons so it's just easier for me to spot. It's up to you. You can do it by name, by icon, however it works for you. Um, I do so much of this sometimes it's just easier for me to do a visual. Here's my header. I want to rename this. Now let me go back real quick and this is a JPEG. You see JPEG? So what I want to do is go to my desktop and I want, I want to make sure that I have the JPEG and I want to rename this. So I'm going to just rename it Path. P-A-T-H. The same as what's on the server. Okay? Just rename it Path. Okay, then what I should be, should be able to do is go in to my FTP program. I'm just going to move this out of the way. Uh, let me put it over on the other desktop. I have two computers, two computer desktops. So I want to go in. I want to find that file I just changed on my desktop. I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to find the file. And it was, what was it? The view refresh. But anyway, here it is, Path, J, Path JPG. So I'm going to go into 2010, Images, Headers. And I'm going to take the Path JPG. Um, and I'm going to replace it with the new ones. Now, there's two ways you can do it. You can either go ahead and just upload it. And it's going to ask you, do you want to overwrite? Tell it OK. OK. And then you can go ahead and check and see if that made the difference. Go ahead and refresh your page. There's our new article marketing. Now the other thing you can do, sometimes that will not work, especially if you have something like a WP cache on. The other thing you can do is delete it, delete the file on the server, and then upload the new file. And either way, this should work for you. So I hope that gave you an idea. And then just, you know, when you're done, disconnect. You don't have to worry about the uh, the folder that you downloaded onto your desktop or wherever you download you don't have to worry about it. You can go ahead and delete it now if you want to. But there's other things in there that you might want to change. And you can do those sim just, as, just as simply as I did this. So I'm done for that for now. And I'm going to get out of here. Let me close this. And you see here's your new header. So Glenna, I, ho Glenna, I hope this helps you. It should talk you through this step by step. I'm going to go ahead and post it in the forum. I'm going to edit out my blurbs. Um, I did this in about 10 or 15 minutes, you know, under 15 minutes. So if you want to change your default installation, this is one real quick way you can do it. Hey, it doesn't look bad for two minutes work on a, on a work in a Microsoft Word document, right? So that's not going to be here if you happen to come here because eventually I'm going to change everything. That's good enough for now. I hope you have a great time. KegelGenealogyOnline.com is the one I'm working on. And I have made a post about my uh, marketing, internet marketing site. I've had 1,300 registered users in the last four or five days and I don't know what's going on but there it is and there's a whole bunch of free stuff for you guys if you want it you can check it out I'm not trying to promote it but that's that's what it is and uh, again make yourself a new header change it up make it look like your own I hope this helps everybody have a great time bye bye